Welcome to another episode of Hack Naked TV, recorded today, March 31st, 2016. I'm your host, Aaron Lyons, and today I'm going to be following up on the Apple versus FBI case, the latest developments out of that, a new local privilege escalation on Android, a new vulnerability that affects Cisco Firepower, formerly Sourcefire, and Snort, and some more on ransomware. As always, this episode is brought to you by Black Hills Information Security, the leaders in pen testing and active defense. Email consulting at blackhillsinfosec.com to request a quote. I'd also like to introduce our newest sponsor of Hack Naked TV. Check out itpro.tv forward slash Hack Naked to upgrade your brain with the most popular IT certifications. Use the code Hack Naked 30 for a free seven day trial and save 30% off the life of your account. So, Apple versus FBI. Last week, we were followed up on this, and the uh, Justice Department had said that an outside party had come forward and had demonstrated a potential method to unlocking the iPhone without Apple's help to the FBI. And the FBI said they would explore this method and update the courts. This week, the FBI has announced it was dropping the case against Apple. This third-party source that had this method worked. If this is a good thing, a bad thing, or if this is just delaying the inevitable... Um, fight between what the government can force uh, U.S. private industry to do to assist them in um, investigations, it's hard to say. But at this point, this has been put to rest. A new vulnerability in Android, a local privilege escalation. This is a critical flaw in the Linux kernel, and this can be exploited to cause a local permanent device compromise in the only way to fix infected devices would require reflashing the entire operating system. Uh, Google uh, had planned on releasing a fix to this in their regular patch cycle, but once they learned that the flaw was being actively exploited, they released an emergency patch. Uh, the flaw affects all unpatched Android devices on kernels 3.4, 3.10 and 3.14. Android devices using the Linux kernel 3.18 and higher are not vulnerable. This is the patch was released for all the Nexus devices out there. Now, if you have phone from HTC, LG, Samsung, you're going to be at the mercy of your carrier and your um, manufacturer of when you get these patches. So always, this has always been a pain point for vulnerabilities in uh, Android. So be careful what you're downloading and installing on your Android devices. New vulnerability just released yesterday, CVE 2016-1345, announced yesterday from Cisco. This is a malware bypass vulnerability in Firepower. Uh, it, they issued a patch at the same time they issued this announcement. Uh, this if The patches... Let me start over here. The fixed versions are 5.707 and later, 5.4.1.6 and later, and 6.0.1 and later. Links in our show notes to the Cisco announcement uh, so you can get more information on that. This can also affect some Snort installations. If the version is older than 9.2.8.2, which was released yesterday, and the source code for that Snort installation was compiled with the dash dash enable dash file dash inspect configuration flag set. So depending on how you compiled your Snort, your Snort installation, it may or may not be vulnerable if you're not on the latest version, but I would highly suggest that you update to the latest version so you don't have to worry about this. So this, this bypass vulnerability um, is due to Snort, Firepower, Sourcefire, whatever you want to say, not properly validating the fields in uh, HTTP headers. And it allows a, a uh, crafted HTTP request to bypass the malicious file detection, or it could also block policies configured on the system. So essentially what Cisco comes out and says is that if one or more policies specify a block files, block malware, or detect, detect files action, the system is vulnerable. 
So if you're running a Snort, Firepower, Sourcefire, IDS on your network, you're going to want to go out there, make sure you're not vulnerable, patch if you are, make sure that you're not inadvertently letting malware into your network that is going to go by these IDSs completely undetected. Check out our links to the, re the release notes from Cisco in our show notes. Last but not least, this week I wanted to cover ransomware yet again. Three more hospitals and a healthcare firm would have just disclosed that their systems have been hit with ransomware. The Methodist Hospital in uh, Kentucky, the Chino Valley Medical Center in California, the Desert Valley Hospital in California, and the MedStar Health in, uh, Health Incorporation in Washington. Um, all of these. All of these were just recently hit by ransomware. It seems like 2016 is shaping up to be the year of ransomware. Um, none of these hospitals or firms are known to have paid the, the ransoms. Uh, they're all being investigated by the FBI. And ransomware is coming out with new, new ransomware is coming out every single day. Just this past week, we've seen Powerware, which is a ransomware written in PowerShell in Petya, which is a ransomware that overwrites the MBR of the of the computer, completely locking you out of your system. Not just your files, whole system lockout. If you haven't taken steps to protect yourself from when you get infected from ransomware, you need to do it now. Backups, early detection, everything that you can possibly do because it is just a matter of time. I can't stress that enough about ransomware. You're going to get hit. Your organization will get hit in some way, fashion, or form. That's it for this episode of Hack Naked TV. We'll talk to you next time.